and welcome to this answer explanation video. In this video I'm going to cover the year 5 worksheet multiply mixed numbers by integers. I'll go through the answers to each of the questions and cover some of the things you may have found a little bit tricky. Question 1. Write and complete the multiplication sentence that matches the image below. The image shows three lots of the same mixed number. The mixed number is 2 and 7 elevenths. We know this because two of the circles are fully coloured in and then seven out of the eleven parts are coloured in in the last fraction. So our mixed number is two and seven elevenths. There are three lots of this. So the calculation being shown is two and seven elevenths times three. The answer we can see if we do two times Three, we get six holes and then we need to do seven elevenths times three to get the next part. Three times seven is twenty-one elevenths. So that is one and ten elevenths. So the answer when we put these together is seven and ten elevenths. Question 2. Complete the statement below using more than, less than or equals. 3 and 4 fifths times 3, 2 and 2 tenths times 5. We need to solve these calculations in order to compare the answers. So, 3 and 4 fifths times 3, we can break down into 3 times 3, which is 9, and 4 fifths times 3, which is 12 fifths. Twelve fifths is the same as two because five goes into twelve twice with two fifths remaining. So then we add two and two fifths to nine which gives us eleven and two fifths. Then on this side we can do two times five which is ten and then two tenths times five which is 10 tenths, 10 tenths equals 1, and 1 add 10 equals 11. So 3 and 4 fifths times 3 is greater than 2 and 2 tenths times 5, because this one equals 11 and 2 fifths, and this one equals 11. Question 3. Use the digit cards to complete the calculation. Within the calculation, we're missing the numerator for both the number at the start and the final answer, and the integer we multiply by. We've got the numbers 7, 4, 5, 3 and 6 that we could put in these spaces. Using the numbers we've got here, 1 and 5, we can think about the integer. I know that I can't use the number 7, and I can't use the number 6 in this box because 1 times 7 is 7 and 1 times 6 would be 6. And we know it can't be that because we've got 5 in the answer as it is. If I were to put 1 times 5 in here, I would get 5 here. However, my numerators could then be 4, 3, 7 and 6. All of those numbers multiplied by 5 are greater than 7. So this would be a mixed number which I would then have to add to my 5. So I can't use the number 5 either. So 7, 6 and 5 cannot be the integer that we multiply by. So instead I'm either going to choose 4 or 3. For my first attempt I'm going to try the number 3. So I'm going to do 1 and something 7 times 3. Thinking carefully about what I know about my times tables I'm going to choose the number 4. So I get 3 times 1 is 3, and then 3 times 4 is 12 sevenths. 12 sevenths is 1 and 5 sevenths. Add the two together, so 3 add 1 and 5 sevenths equals 4 and 5 sevenths. So I know that this can't work. So now instead of having 3 as my integer, I'm going to try with 4. So instead I'm going to have 1 and something 7 times 4. 
Again, thinking carefully about what I know about my times tables, I'm not going to put seven sevenths because that wouldn't make sense. I'm not going to put six sevenths. Instead, I'm going to put three and work from there. So then I do four times one, which is four. And then I'm going to do three sevens times four. Three times four is twelve sevens. And again, twelve sevens is one and five sevens. If I put four and one and five sevens together, I get five and five sevens. So let's check, can that work? So if I put the number four in here, I've still got five, three, six and seven left. So if I put the number three in here, and then I can put the number five in here. And that gives me this calculation. So the missing numbers are three, four, and five. That was an answer explanation video from Classroom Secrets. If you would like to watch the video tutorial that accompanies this step, please visit kids.classroomsecrets.co.uk. And if you would like extra resources on this step, please visit classroomsecrets.co.uk. Thank you for watching. See you next time.